What's up, fellow Saiyans, and welcome to episode 33 of my Marvel Mini Fates. Today we're doing Toad. He is a villain in the game. He works with him, Blob, and Pyro. They work together when you play against them. He hops around a lot all over the map. Primed up in uniform gray, like all the other figures are. And to start off with them, we're gonna go with the skin like always, we're gonna use Barbarian Flesh. For his costume colors, I went with the orange and green as opposed to the orange and purple. Next, I'm going to mix up Lava Orange with Desert Yellow, and I'm going to use this as like the tannish, orangish color for the base of this costume. Being that this is like a lighter color, it's going to definitely take two to three coats of this. All the painting in the video is being sped up at eight times its normal speed. Normally it takes about two hours to paint one of these. Toad's one's been a villain for the X from or he's been a villain of the X-Men for a long time, all the way since the debut of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutes. Which I'm pretty sure was like the second issue. Go back over and just add another coat to the skin. Now I'm going to use Necromancer Cloak and I'm going to put this on the base. You can see on the where he's standing it says Xavier School for Gifted youngster, Youngsters on like that plaque. I'm going to paint the inside of that plaque with Necromancer Cloak. And then I'll go back over and add another coat of the tan back on it. Now for the green parts, we're gonna use Goblin Green for his collar, gloves, and boots, and I don't know, underwear type stuff he wears. don't know anything about Toad, he has the ability to jump around, sort of like a frog, hence the name, or Toad, hence the name, his tongue, he can shoot out, he can grab you with it, trip you, he can spit mucus, it's like slime. When you're doing his trunks, just make sure that you don't want to get any of that green on the orange. Next, we're going to use leather brown, and that's going to be for his hair.
Now for his tongue, we're gonna go a little lighter. We're gonna use jungle green. Now back to the base, we're going to use Necrotic Flesh, and this is going to be for like everything he's standing on, like the entire chunk of rock or concrete or whatever it is. Now we're going to use greedy gold and I'm just going to lightly paint that over top of plaque just on the edges. I'm going to use a detailed brush for this when it's a lot smaller and finer. And I'm just barely like grazing the letters. It's kind of hard to see from this end. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use matte white. I'm just going to dot them. Now since I got the detail brush out, I'm just going to go over everything and trim up every color. Now, once that's finished, it's time to wash. So we're gonna start with the flesh wash. And we're actually gonna use this for his face and the orange parts of his costume. And just be sure not to let it puddle up. Or make sure you get the bubbles as well. Next, we're going to switch over to Soft Tone. And we're going to apply this to the green and the base as well. Now we're going to switch over to Strong Tone for his hair. And finally Dark Tone for the plaque. And then he's, it, he's going to sit there and dry for a while. And then we get started on the highlights. So I forgot to mention that I'm using soft tone for his tongue as well. Now once he's all dry, 
I'm gonna use the goblin green that I used for his outfit for his eye color. So I'm gonna go over top of the matte white I used before. And then next, I'm taking the barbarian flesh, but I'm adding a drop of mummy ropes to it to lighten it up. And I'm gonna use that as the highlights for his skin. Next, I'm going to use Lava Orange for the orange parts of his outfit. Now I'm going to use, go back to using the jungle green that I use for his tongue. However, I'm going to use this as the highlight for the green parts of his costume as well. Now I'm just going to dot the green part that I put of his eyes with just a dot of matte black for each one. Just a little dot over top of the green. Now for the hair, we're going to use Monster Brown. We're going to dry brush this right on the hair. Now I have this uh, glow paint from Five Below. This is the natural color that it has, and I'm gonna try. I tried making this like slime on his tongue. It didn't turn out so well, but I was just trying to, you know, add something special to it. It's just too liquidy. Next, the la very last color we're using is Skeleton Bone. And I'm going to dry brush this all over the base he's on. And finally, this is Toad all finished. And I think he looks good right here, but you're going to see when I zoom up in a little bit with a close-up shot. I don't know why the paint looks terrible in this light. It has to be the lighting, because right now you're looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. But you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. Um, if you want to see any real or live, you know, me painting live, follow me on either Twitch or Facebook. Just look for Saiyan Elite uh, to get notified of new episodes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can get notified when the new ones come out new ones will be coming out and again I'd like to thank you guys all for watching and later sayings